friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe and I'm so excited you're all here. I just want to start this video with a huge thank you to all of you because we are over 100 subscribers and I could not be filled with more joy. I, I'm i just really grateful you're all here. Before we get into the video, I want to remind all of you to continue to subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it. And don't forget to comment down below because I love talking to all of you. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. <music> makeover this week and I'm very excited about this makeover. So we're doing Ethan's office. Now his office, we started this as more of a functional change and I filmed it to be a short, like a reel. And I was just gonna post it as like a little mini, like reno. And it suddenly became a lot more than that. <laughs> it turned into a full cosmetic and functional makeover. Now there are a couple pieces that we already had for his office that really helped this design and I don't talk about. And that is the black cabinets that we have. Those are all from Ikea. I will list the specific ones that we got down below. We did consciously choose all of those cabinets to match and they were part of the design decision. So because they're pretty new, and they function quite well for his space. I really didn't want to replace them or mess them up in any way. All right, friends, we're gonna have to pause here because I'm gonna queue up a montage where we build Ethan's new countertop right on top of the cabinets I just said we weren't gonna modify. So enjoy. small room and we don't really have a lot of space in the house to take everything out of here so we will be doing this entire makeover with everything basically in here which means I have to prioritize and start with like certain walls so we're starting with the wall behind me and then we're gonna move on to the wall right next to me which I'll show you guys I just finished sanding down the second coat of spackling to fill all the holes in the wall. I have to prep the walls and figure out what paint I want to start with. wall this is a structural wall and we want to paint this room so we had a decision to make and that was do we paint these structural walls all the way to the ceiling or do we paint them only partially to the top of the partial wall and we decided to paint only to the top of the partial wall and there's several reasons I chose to do this and I'll get into them while I'm painting it. One of the reasons in particular is because if we paint all the way to the ceiling, the wall in front of me is actually a partial wall as well and it goes out to our living room. So we would have been able to see this wall and I really didn't want that. I really wanted you to be able to look over and see the same color as the entryway, which is that white. This is what I was talking about. That wall right there is the wall I was just standing in front of. If you look through our kitchen from where I'm standing in the living room, you can see that back wall. And I really didn't want to have like a 
divide here because I felt like it just wouldn't make sense. So the solution, as it as it were, is to paint this all white and divide at the partial wall. So I'm gonna show you how I am going to tackle this line. There are a lot easier ways to do this. For example, if you have a laser level, don't even bother with what I'm doing right now because the laser level will be significantly easier. I'm very lucky and my husband is a carpenter so we have lots of tools. However, one thing we do not have is a laser level, sadly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a straight edge and a level and I am going to line up my straight edge with the top of this wall and set my level on top of it and then draw the line. changes that we wanted to make with Ethan's office is painting the walls. So we had to make some pretty creative design decisions in terms of these walls and what we decided to do was cut off the paint of his office at the partition wall height even on the full walls. The reason I wanted to do this is because we have really high ceilings so even if I cut off the paint at a lower height it wouldn't dwarf the space. It would just make his office feel a little cozier and to combat the space suddenly feeling really small I decided to break that line of paint with our art and let the art extend upwards. The goal here was for your eye to be able to go from the desk up to the art up to the ceiling because of that break it like forces the eye above that painted line even though we're creating a visual divide. Okay friends, I just peeled off all of the tape for the to like divided walls. So now it's time to paint the pegboard so that that can dry overnight. That way when I paint the green walls, I can tape that off. Also, Ethan's here and hang on, Ethan's here and he is now helping. So he's taking everything off of the pegboard and then I just taped off one of the other walls. So we're gonna paint that and I think we're gonna be done for the night. So, last task. Good morning, friends. It is now day two of this makeover, and yesterday we got completed all of the white paint, and we also painted the pegboard in Ethan's office and we painted half of the baseboards. So today's goal, I think, is I want to get the green walls painted at the very least, but ideally I'd love to finish painting today because there's a lot more to do. That said, it's time to get painting. I need to go tape out all the baseboards so that I don't wreck the paint I just did. And then we will do a little color review, which I think it's gonna be really fun because we're using a new color and I'm really excited about it. Ethan picked it, so I think you guys are gonna like it, but you'll have to let me know. So let's go prep the baseboards and then we will get started. <laughs> So I just finished prepping all the walls. I taped off that same like partisan line again and I then painted over the seam with the same color that's on top. Basically that just makes sure that you have a really solid line because it seals the tape. Like that edge, it seals it so that um, no color from the new color that's going down here can like seep through. But now that we're done with that, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go in with the new color. So let's go do a little color reveal. Okay, 
here it is. This is the new color that we haven't used anywhere in the house yet. So I'm really excited to show it to you guys. And this is one Ethan picked. So he really wanted this for his office. There it is. It's like this really, it looks lighter here than it actually is. I actually covered this, this little sample. It looks really light here, but in person it looks a lot darker. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out on the walls, but this is the color that we're going in with on the two walls that I just prepped. So I'm gonna stir this and get to cutting in. When I first started painting it, I was a little concerned because it was almost appearing quite emerald, but it dried a lot darker, which is what we wanted. So just remember, and I know I've mentioned this before, remember that when you're painting, even if you're unsure about the color, at least paint one like solid strip of your wall and let it fully dry because it will drastically change from when it's wet to when it's dry. Okay, I just got this shelf all cleared out and I took down Ethan's guitars um, and cleared out a bunch of like wood that he had over in this corner. So now it's time to try and move this shelf and take down these guitar mounts so that I can prep this wall while this wall is drying. So I'm gonna quick do that and then hopefully that wall will be dry and we can do a second coat. So let's do that. friends this is how it's looking so far this line turned out so crisp like look at how good that line is i'm obsessed so this is looking pretty good the baseboards are painted on this side of the room i just finished doing the first coat on the baseboards here so while that dries i'm actually going to take a break i just need to finish the baseboard and then paint this wall and this wall and also this will be nearly the last wall of this color to paint over and I'm so excited so that color is almost out of our house completely which is excellent I'm so pumped Friends, I just need to show you this update. Like, look how good this wall looks. It still needs a second coat, but just the difference of like looking in here now is crazy. It's crazy and it's not even done. It's gonna look so good. Oh my God. The last time we checked in, we had not finished this wall yet. Now it's done. You were not here. Now you're here. <laughs> so now it's basically time to start getting everything up on the walls again. So yes, exactly, exactly. So Ethan's gonna hang the lights that were over the pegboard. Those are going up exactly where they were. And I am going around, courtesy of Ethan who picked these up for us. I'm gonna go around and put up our screwless wall outlet covers, wall plates. And yeah, we're gonna tag team, ready? Let's go!
but I think we are just about done. So we are gonna finish up and bring in all of Ethan's things, like his monitors and refill his shelves. And then tomorrow we will do the finishing touches and the reveal. <music> makeover. Last you saw, Ethan and I were bringing in all of his extra furniture, his monitors, hi, things like that. Um, and today is final touches. So obviously my favorite part, we have to style his shelves. I have to zhuzh the pegboard and we're going to bring in a couple decor elements. You'll notice that a lot of the decor elements I'm adding are things that he already had. I really want this to feel like a space that is fully about his personality, his interests. So that's the goal of this space. I don't want to add a bunch of things that he's going to end up needing to move or get out of his way. Uh, the whole goal is this is his space. Let's make it functional, but make it well designed so that he actually wants to be in here. So all that said, let's get to styling. shelf you'll notice I pulled everything into the space and just kind of set it up there and then really took a step back deconstructed what I had done and started playing around with different shapes and heights on each shelf when you're designing shelves you're trying to create interest and keep the eye moving both left and right and up and down so the way to do that is to make sure you don't have two similar shapes either right next to each other or right above slash below each other. You want to create diagonal patterns like X's or diamonds because that takes the eye up and around the shelf. It also makes it just more interesting to look at if not everything is completely the same all surrounding each other. When you intersperse things of different heights, different shapes, different orientations, it becomes more designed instead of just storage. On top of that, you'll notice I leave quite a few empty spots or blank spaces, and that's because even in visual interest, the eye needs a break. If the eye doesn't have a break, it can't fully absorb those designed, vignetted, collected moments. It needs to be able to take something in, take a break, and then take something in again. To style Ethan's pegboard, I'm just adding a couple sentimental photos and minimizing the number of tools on it so that we have some visual breaks. took a moment to hang both his guitar and his bass up on the wall and whoever says that storage can't both be functional and beautiful this is a direct contradiction for you these guitars typically took up a lot of space on their stands on the floor so moving them up on the wall not only stores them but creates a piece of art that you see as soon as you walk into his space and the only things I put on his desk is this faux plant that we already had in his space. I just layered it on top of some books that he's reading currently to give it some height. And my favorite photo from our wedding in a thrifted frame and stand. Because of course I was going to put a photo of myself on his desk. Come on now.
lastly, I lit one of his candles on his desk and with that, it was time for the reveal. Your office today. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. It's very good. You really like it? I do. Your color picks turned out good. Our color picks. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part? Do you think? I I have two. You have so, two. The work counter mm -hmm. is very good, and the picture frames. The picture frames. Yeah. Do you like how it turned out with them split like that? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I like it too, honestly. But yeah. You heard it here first. He likes it. Hooray! 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 <laughs> All right, friends, that is it for this week's video. The office is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This was very much an impromptu makeover and born out of function necessity and turned into a whole cosmetic makeover. I am so proud of how this space turned out and it makes me even happier to know that Ethan truly loves it and it feels like a space that he can not only work from but be creative in and really speaks to his personality because as a couple that lives together it can be difficult sometimes to make sure you're incorporating both people within the design of the home so it was important to me and important to him for him to have a space that was both functional and well designed to feel like he has a place in our home as well if you liked today's video please don't forget to subscribe also happy 100 of us again i am so grateful to all of you and i cannot wait to share all the amazing things that i've been working on with all of you don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of the makeover and the dark moody vibe that we have going on through our house and your general thoughts. I love hearing from all of you. Don't forget to push the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. You can also follow me on all of my socials that are linked below if you want more of that day-to-day -day content, sneak peeks behind my videos or even behind the scenes. I would love to see you there as well. All right, friends, that is everything. I'll see you next time. Bye.